Hi, I'm Gene Ransom. Welcome to the MedChi Minute. Uh, today we continue to talk about the opioid crisis with Ingvild Olsen, a Baltimore City physician who is actually the co-chair of our addictions committee here at MedChi. Uh, Dr. Olsen, we wanted to talk a little bit about legislation that passed last year and has recently taken effect here in Maryland that requires doctors to follow guidelines. Can you talk a little bit about what's required uh, for doctors and what guidelines they should follow? Sure. So the guidelines that were um, that are referenced is are really the CDC guidelines, the Centers for Disease Control guidelines that were written and came out in 2016 around the appropriate prescribing of um, pain with opioids, mm -hmm. um, and it references and applies really to primary care um, practitioners, both for acute and chronic pain. And there are 12 recommendations um, that have to kind of span the areas yeah. of pain assessment all the way to um, a treatment, judicious treatment, starting low going um, slow with dosing and um, really then all the way to if you have somebody who you identify as having an mm -hmm. opiate use disorder making sure that you actually then refer or can treat that person in your office and if so if you're a primary care doctor you can simply look at the CDC guidelines and that will help you out what do you do if you're a specialist of some kind what's the best thing to do there for opioid Right. Writing. So for specialists, whether you're an emergency physician or an orthopedic, you really should look to your own specialty society mm -hmm. for guidelines that they also may have come out with. And that's now Maryland law. Mm -hmm. Thank you for joining us today for the MedKai Minute.